it because he's not God, he is man. Come when you get an opportunity, just speak the truth and give problems and suggest solutions so that we can make progress katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Sume kubaliana? Sasa wewe Senator Cherio tuliongea na nyinyi. Na tukakubaliana mmetupatia huyu Rais William Ruto tukaenda naye pale kwa mlima akakuwa wetu. Sasa amekuwa rais umefika hapa umepinduka. Sasa tulienda pale William Samoe Kipchitil Ruto tukabadilisha Kipchitil ikakuwa kamau. Sasa huyu senator Saile amefika umefika hapa mnasema ni akiricho baringo ni waribu wanasema ni wao hata Kajiado wanasema ni wao. Sasa huyu kiongozi ni wa nani? Si ni wa Kenya. Sasa hiyo maneno ya kuweka president hapa muachana na hiyo maneno. Huyu ni rais wa Jamhuri ya ni kiongozi wetu katika Jamhuri ya Kenya na dialipata kura mingi zaidi kila pahali. Na nimemwambia Senator Cheriot ungesema vile nilipoambia uliposema tuangalie kitabulisho ya baba yake nikakwambia ukitaka tuende hiyo barabara tutabadilisha. Tuseme tuangalie kura alipigiwa tujue ni wapi anapendwa. Kwa hivyo mkileta hiyo maneno ya kitabulisho na sisi tutasema hapana tutaangalia kitabulisho tuangalie kura ya William Ruto tujue pahali alipendwa zaidi basi atakuwa mtoto ya huko. Si tumekubaliana. And we want to say Reverend Joyce you have described the situation in this country appropriately. But there is tomorrow. And we want to tell our detractors we cannot clean the mess, the economic mismanagement of five years in 30 days. What we are doing right now is cleaning their mess. And they cannot oversight us to clean their mess because they were part of the mess. Once we clean their mess, they start the oversight on our programs. Masababu shida wametuajia ni kubwa. Si nilisema pale kasarani, tumefika pale, store, empty, nothing, tumekwama. So we have started cleaning their mess, first and foremost, by removing the public service from politics to service delivery. That is one of the gains. Na tumemuambia ma chief county commissioners, kazi ya siyaza apana kazi yenu, murudi kwa kazi ya kufanyia wananchi kazi. That is one of the way we are cleaning the mess. Tumeenda pale KRA, pesa ilikuwa na okotwa, watu wanajisaidia nae, William Ruto, president wetu, ametoa directive, pesa yokotwe ya kusaidia serikali, is part of cleaning the mess that was there. We have agreed on the prioritization of projects. Tusifanya project ambaye ni a conflict of interest and state capture. Once we clean their mess, we invite our wati ya to start oversighting us. But they cannot oversight us cleaning the mess they created because they are conflicted. Si tumekubaliana? So, watu ya kerisho tumeshukuru kwa kutusaidia huyu kiongozi wetu. Mume mpatia kura, mume muombea, muendele kumuombea. Kazi ni mingi, kazi ni ngumu, tumepata shida mingi kwa uchumi. Na mwenye sumugu watamusaidia na kwa maumbienu tutafaulu. Ningetaka zote tusimame, tupata na fasi ya kumukaribisha kiyo. Angai. Asante sana bwana deputy president to get chini. Viongozi wetu maaskofu pamoja na wachungaji ndugu wa Kristo wenzangu wote amjambo. Kericho amjambo. Kericho chamge. Omune. Ah, kericho bwana Yesu asifiwe. Simoni salimie hivi haiwane nione bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi leo tufike hapa kericho na tupate nafasi ya ibada. Na washukuru viongozi hawa wa kanisa kwa sababu ya kupanga mkutano wa leo 
na tumefika hapa sisi sote kwa sababu tunamwamini Mungu na tumekuja hapa ili tutoe shukrani zetu kwa sababu bila Mungu hatungekuwa tunasema mambo haya tunasema Wacha nichukue nafasi hii kwa heshima kubwa ni washukuru viongozi wa kanisa ni shukuru viongozi wote pamoja na wananchi wote wa Kericho kwa sababu ya maombi yenu Kenya yetu leo tumeanza kurasa mpya ya kupeleka taifa letu mbele Mimi vile vile nataka nichukue nafasi hii nilikuja hapa na hawa viongozi wenzangu na wengine wengi tukaomba kura zenu mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu watu wa Kericho niseme asante sana. Oga speak up Kericho? Ale hi. Kale go go missing. Asante sana. <clears throat> Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba yale mambo yote tulisema makubaliano tulikubaliana na nyinyi mpango tuliokubaliana na nyinyi tutahakikisha ya kwamba kila ahadi na sehemu zote za mpango wetu tutaitekeleza kwa manufaa ya vijana kwa manufaa ya wakulima kwa manufaa ya wakenya wote Leo vile vile mimi nataka niwashukuru vile eh, kwa kuungana pamoja na sisi katika shughuli mbalimbali. Tuko na mipango ambayo muliongea na deputy wangu wakati alikuja hapa. Tumeyanakili vizuri katika ile chata ambayo tumeandikiana na watu wa Kericho. Mambo ya maji, mambo ya barabara, mambo ya kilimo maneno ya ajira ya vijana wetu yote yako katika ile chata na yako katika ruwaza yetu ya Kenya kwanza katika mpango wa kupeleka Kenya mbele kwa miaka mitano ijayo and therefore i want to commit to the people of this county as i do to the people of Kenya that we will be faithful in the implementation of our plan that will transform our nation in all sectors in our agriculture in our agro processing our value addition manufacturing making sure that we have jobs and in securing our country and making Kenya a country of the rule of law so mimi nataka leo kwa sababu tumekuja kanisani eh, sitasema mambo mengi tumekubaliana vizuri kuna yale mimi na viongozi hawa tutafanya kuna yale nyinyi kama wananchi mutafanya na sisi wote tukishikana tukiungana Kenya tutaibadilisha kwa pamoja na tutatengeneza taifa ambayo itawafaa wa Kenya wote Tumepata nafasi najua tuko na e, viongozi walioteuliwa katika nyadhifa mbalimbali Tuko na mawaziri tuko na wengine watafuata na wengine na wengine Mimi nataka tu niwaambie wa, ni kwamba hawa wote tuliowateua wawe katika nyati mbalimbali mbali. hawa sio viongozi wa kijiji ama kaunti hawa mawaziri nimesikia mkisema huyu anatoka kaunti hii ula anatoka kaunti ile hakuna waziri wa kaunti waziri wa kaunti ni wale wa huyu governor huyu ndiye ako na CEC wa kaunti hapa hawa mawaziri wote tuliowapatia nafasi hawa ni mawaziri wa Kenya na watafanyia kazi Kenya mzima kwa sababu tunataka kuondoa ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya tunataka kila mkenya ajue 
ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya itamfanyia kazi ile kazi tumefanya tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane ni uchaguzi wa demokrasia wa kuamua ni kundi gani iko na mpango ambayo wa Kenya wengi wanakubaliana iwe ndio mpango ya kutupeleka mbele baada ya hiyo uchaguzi sisi wote tunarudi tunakuwa wananchi wa taifa la Kenya na tunakuwa na serikali ya Kenya ambayo itawafanyia wa Kenya wote kazi ili tuweze kupeleka taifa letu mbele hakuna vile Kenya itaenda mbele sehemu moja sehemu nyingine ibaki nyuma we are going to make sure that we eliminate the feelings of marginalization we deal firmly and decisively with inequality and we make sure that the government of Kenya serves all citizens equally because we have only one country to call home and that country is Kenya and we have only one government of Kenya at any one time to serve all the people of Kenya mimi vile vile nataka mjue mkiwa wananchi wa hapa Kericho yale mambo tuliandikiana na nyinyi katika ile eh, eh, chata tumesema ya kwamba eh, town yetu ya Kericho hapa imekuwa na msongamano mkubwa na kubaliana na governor wenu vile nilitangaza pale mbeleni lazima tutafute ekari elfu moja ya expansion ya town ya Kericho na mimi nataka niwaambie tayari hiyo exercise ilikuwa imeanza lakini tulikuwa kidogo na watu ambao hawakuelewa ni nini tunatafuta mimi nataka nimwambie bwana governor you will do your part and the national government will do its part we will get at least a thousand acres for the expansion of Kericho county especially this Kericho town tunaelewana katika ile mpango yetu tumekubaliana ya kwamba tupange ajira ya vijana hawa vijana wengi ambao mnasikia wakiwa na malalamiko kuhusu mambo ya machine ni kwa sababu hakuna kazi ama kazi ni kidogo mimi nataka niwaambie kwamba katika ile mpango yetu tumepanga ya kwamba kuna investments katika sehemu ya uchumi ambayo itatusaidia kuzalisha nafasi za kazi ili hawa vijana waweze kupata mahali ya kupata ajira na mahali ya kupata riziki county government ya Kericho vile tunasema katika county zingine zote tumesema ya kwamba tutajenga nyumba laki tano 500,000 houses if possible every two or three years hapa Kericho mimi nataka governor wetu aanze kupanga which are the towns tutajenga nyumba elfu kumi hapa Kericho hizo nyumba elfu kumi itatupatia nafasi ya ajira karibu elfu ishirini ya hawa vijana ndio kila kijana aanze kujipanga na ndio sababu tulijenga makusudi ile technical training colleges ambazo tumejenga katika kila constituency in the Republic of Kenya imebaki constituencies hamsini na tumesema ya kwamba tunaanzia hapo tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunawapanga vijana wetu na elimu ya ufundi teknolojia taaluma zingine zikiwemo mambo ya kompyuta na digital space ndio vijana wetu tuwapange na ajira vijana waache kuangaika madukani na vijana waache kuangaika katika mji ama miji zetu na katika taifa letu la Kenya. So bwana governor anza kupanga tutajenga hizo manyumba wapi utupatie ardhi niko na watu investors ambao watakuja kusaidia kujenga hizo manyumba na tutapatia pesa tutawapatia pesa nyinyi muweze kununua hizo manyumba through mortgage. We have worked on the whole program to ensure that our housing plan will create jobs for our young people will create settlements in an organized manner that have proper water proper sewerage uh, access to uh, 
uh, education, access to health, and provide resources for offtake so that we can create more homeowners in Kenya and take the journey to, working, to making Kenya a working nation. So, Fisi Wote to Taungana. Jambo la pili ni mambo ya value addition na agro processing. Hapa kericho tunazalisha majani chai pamoja na kahawa kwa wingi. Sinikweli? Na tumesema ya kwamba hatutakuwa tunauza chai ya Kenya ikiwa unprocessed vile inaendelea saa hizi kwa auction. Chai ya Kenya tutaifanyia value addition na processing ili tupange ajira ya kutosha ya hawa vijana na vile vile tupate pesa nyingi kwa sababu ya ile value addition. Chai tunauza hapa dola mbili alafu tunauziwa baadaye dola tisa ama dola kumi. Sio ni uzembe. Na zizi ndio wenye chai. So mimi nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi na tayari tumeanza safari ya ku a common user facility ya kusaidia chai yetu ifanyiwe value addition ndio tuweze kupata dhamana zaidi ile value iende juu we create value in our products and we also create jobs for our young people hiyo mpango tuko nayo tayari kwa wakulima wote mmesikia hatua yetu ya kwanza pale ni tulianza kupunguza gharama ya mbolea watu wote wa KTDA nataka niseme mlikuwa mnauziwa mbolea 5600 tumepunguza kama serikali sasa imefika 3500 ile mbolea ambayo tutatumia kuanzia December kuzalisha chakula tunafanya mpango tunataka pia kutoa kutoka hiyo 1700 ya saa hizi mpaka shilingi 3500 mwaka huu elfu tatu mwaka ujao na ile mwaka ingine tufikishe 2500 kwa sababu hakuna njia ya kuondoa njaa kwa Kenya ni kusaidia wakulima ili watuzalishie chakula kwa sababu tuko na uwezo wa kuzalisha chakula ya kutosha katika taifa letu la Kenya jambo la tatu ni mambo ya irrigation tumesema tunajenga big dams zile zilikuwa katika manifesto ya chama yetu ya zamani hamsini tumeongeza zingine hamsini huge dams na zingine small dams kama 200 300 tuhakikisha kwamba ile maji yote tuna harvest tunatumia kwa matumizi nyumbani na tunatumia kwa kilimo na tunatumia kwa ufugaji na tunahakikisha ya kwamba tunapeleka taifa letu e, mbele pamoja Mkiwa watu wa Kericho hapa tuko na damu ambayo tulikuwa tumepanga ya kujenga ya hapa Londiani tuko na damu ya Boston ambayo itapatia watu ya Bomet eh, maji tuko na damu ya Itare ambayo iko hapa itafikisha maji sehemu nyingine ya Kericho tuko na damu ya Soin Koru hapa haya ni baadhi ya dams mia moja kubwa ambazo tutajenga kama taifa letu la Kenya kwa hivyo muelewe ya kwamba nitapeleka sheria kidogo ifanyiwe ukarabati bunge na mimi nataka nishukuru wa bunge wameniahidi ya kwamba watafanya sehemu yao kusaidia kutufanyia ukarabati sheria kidogo tutengeneze ile water purchase agreement ndio tuhakikisha kwamba private sector wanakuja kutusaidia kujenga hizi dams ili tuhakikisha kwamba tuko na maji ya matumizi nyumbani tupunguze magonjwa yanayoletwa na mambo ya maji na pia tupunguze gharama ya mambo ya mahospitali tuwe na maji ya irrigation tuwe na maji ya mifugo na tuwe na uwezo wa kuzalisha chakula ya kutosha kwa hivyo msikue na wasiwasi tuko na mpango ya kutosha wale ambao tulishindana na wao mimi nataka niwaambie watulize boli mambo bado ujumi ilikuwa imesambaratika tuko na madeni kutoka hapa mpaka sijui wapi
kilimo ilikuwa imeharibika mpaka bei ya unga ikafika shilingi mbili kwenda mbele mambo ya usalama ilikuwa imezoroteka watu wanapatikana kule kwa sijui ribayala sijui watu wanapatikana huko wameuliwa kiholela kwa hivyo hawa jamaa tunawaambia hawawezi kutuzuia kubadilisha Kenya tunataka kubadilisha Kenya tuondoe Kenya ya zamani ambayo ilikuwa imejengwa kwa msingi ya vitisho e, msingi wa mambo ambayo yanapeleka Kenya nyuma we want to focus into the future and therefore i want to ask the people of Kenya they should not be confused by what happened in the past i want to tell the people of Kenya we have a plan on how to support our farmers so that we can produce enough food using subsidized fertilizer using quality seeds so that we can reduce the cost of living and that plan is already underway we have a plan on what to do with agro processing and value addition of our products so that we can create jobs for our young people and we have also a plan on how to secure this country so that we avoid the shame of Kenyans killed through extrajudicial killings and put in yala river and other rivers we are going to secure this country going into the future so i want to promise the people of kenya that kenya is on sound footing and we have a plan that will take this country into the future wale ambao tulishindana na wao watulize boli waliharibu inchi yetu watupatie nafasi tuifanyie ukarabati na tuipange iweze kwenda mbele walikuwa na miaka mitano ambayo walitumia kuharibu mambo ya nchi yetu uchumi ikaharibika tukawa na madeni mambo ya usalama ikaharibika polisi wakabadilika wakawa ni watu wa kuwaua wa Kenya badala ya kuwalinda tumevunja mimi nimeamurisha juzi ivunjwe ile ilikuwa inaitwa special sijui nini ya police ambayo ilikuwa inaua wa Kenya kiholela that is the history we want to forget let our competitors not remind us of the many things they did against this country sio kama tunaelewa na jamani tuko pamoja so lakini mimi nataka niwaambie hii Kenya itabadilika we are going to change this country for the better na watu wa Kericho vijana wa Kericho nimesikia mnauliza ile hasla fund iko namna gani mimi nataka niwaambie hivi eh mko tayari <laughs> hasla fund in, ninaipangia vizuri tarehe moja disemba eh tayari hasla fund tutaifanyia launch tarehe moja disemba na sasa ile mimi ninapanga vile mtapata hiyo pesa na nyinyi mujipange vile mtapokea hiyo pesa vile ya kupokea hiyo pesa ni ujipange na hasoli yako ujipange either kwa chama ama kwa sako ama kwa cooperative hiyo ni njia moja unaweza kujipanga pia kama mtu binafsi tunaelewana na utapata hazina pesa ya hazina ya hasla fund lakini si pesa ya bure kama kuna mtu hapa anafikiri atapata pesa ya bure <laughs> unasikia wewe <laughs> ati unangojea una pesa ya serikali ya bure ah hiyo hakuna hii ni pesa ya kufanya biashara na tutafanya biashara na urudishe pesa tunaelewa tunaelewana ile tumekubaliana wale mashailo ambao walikuwa nasumbua nyinyi wanalipisha sijui interest ya 1000 per year sasa hiyo interest itakuwa chini ya 10% per year tunaelewana mtapata pesa lakini kila mtu atalipa kwa mpango sawa sawa na hakuna komiti itatengenezwa mimi nasikia kuna watu wengine wanataka kutengeneza sasa komiti azabu ajipange oh nini Hakuna komiti. Ni mnanielewa? Wewe panga ujipange na sikia. 
juzi niliwaambia nili wale watu wanatuuzia pesa juzi niliwaambia hiyo mambo ya fuliza ni gharama ya wamepunguza by 50% wacha niangalie angalia kidogo nikiona bado maneno nitawaambia tena wapunguze mpaka tukubaliane si ndio na nimesema wale watu wote waliowekwa kwa blacklist eh? ile watu wametoroka simu kwa sababu simu imekwama Munipatie kama wiki mbili kila mtu simu yake itafunguliwa kwa sababu tumesema ile blacklisting iondolewe na watu wameniahidi kwamba watu milioni tano in the next 14 days watu milioni tano wataondolewa kwa blacklist kwa ile madeni wali, walikuwa nayo na utakuwa na nafasi sasa ya kujipanga ulipe mambo deni polepole bila ya kukatazwa kuendelea na biashara yako nyinyi mnanielewa lakini kila mtu lazima afanye nini afanye bidii nyinyi mnanielewa hakuna kitu ya bure hii Kenya hakuna nothing kila mtu lazima ajipange na ukijaribu kuipa pesa yangu ya ya, ya serikali tutakutana na wewe <laughs> Ala wale mnafikiri iko mchezo hapa? Si tumesema kazi ni kazi. Ama tulisema namna gani? Si tulikubaliana kazi ni kazi. Eh, kila mtu ajipange. Na tumeambiwa na pasta Joyce. Si ndio? Ukibarikiwa unabariki mwingine. Na hiyo ndio tutafanya tukiwa tukiwa pamoja. So watu wa Kericho mimi nimefurahi sana. Ndugu zangu wa kutoka sehemu zote mimi nawashukuru eh, sana. CBC eh, tumesha tengeneza kamati ambayo inashughulika na mambo ya masomo ya watoto wetu. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutahakikisha ya kwamba elimu inapungua gharama sio kuongeza. Parents must be able even as we run the process of reform of our CBC we will make sure that education becomes affordable for parents not more expensive and that is why there is already uh, kuna kamati ambayo tumetengeneza ambayo inashughulika na hiyo kazi itakuja kwenu kuwasikiza ndio mtoe maoni yenu ndio turekebishe watoto wetu waweze kupata masomo kwa hali na taratibu mzuri ndio Kenya iweze kwenda mbele the greatest investment we can make as a nation is the investment in our young people and education is the beginning of that investment and we must make sure that it happens in an orderly in a way that benefits the majority and in an affordable manner to parents and to the nation kwa hivyo nawashukuru sana mumesikia mambo ya barabara tunapanga saa hizi bila ya kukwamua barabara nyingi zimekwama sio hapa kericho peke yake taifa lote so tuko na mpango ya vile ya kuzikwamua tunapanga vile tutatafuta innovative ways of raising more money so that we can deploy in our infrastructure and make sure that our nation becomes a prosperous nation asanteni sana kwa kunisikiza asanteni sana kwa kuja kwa maombi haya na watakia baraka ya Mungu na Mungu awabariki sana thank you very much and may the good lord bless you